The Danfoss factory in Colling is where most of the Danfoss industrial valve portfolio is produced. Let's take a trip through the production process, where you will see the creation of a valve from the subcomponent manufacturing to final testing and packaging. Stainless steel bars are placed into the CNC lathe. They are machined to the correct size and shape for the armature tops. Tests are performed on randomly selected samples to make sure the length of the armature top is correct. Copper rings are pressed into the armature tops. These will dampen the armature vibrations when AC current is used. After pressing, the pole faces of the armature tops are machined to have a smooth, even surface. Next, the completed armature tops are washed to remove all dirt and oil particles. The armature tops are flanged into the armature tubes. The armature tubes are welded to the flanges. In this process, a spacing ring is also mounted on each armature tube. The spacing ring ensures that the coil O-ring will be compressed enough to form a moisture-tight seal between the coil and armature tube. When finished, some armature tubes are randomly selected for quality testing. The tests include measuring the internal diameter, as well as a destructive test that measures the strength of the weld. The diaphragm parts are flanged together. The seat plate is mounted in the armature and the production number is stamped on it. The equalizing orifice and the armature system are mounted on the valve cover. The pilot filter, diaphragm and spring are mounted in the valve cover. When finished, every valve is leak and function tested. During the leak detection test, the serial number and the valve type are printed on the armature tube. These details are saved together with the results of the test and the valve is then traceable throughout its lifetime. When the valve is approved, a smiley appears to show that the test has been performed and the valve passed. When making the coil, copper wire is first wound around a plastic spool. The connections are mounted and the coil is now ready for the plastic molding process. The coils are molded with plastic in the well-known blue Danfoss color. After the molding process, the coil is voltage tested. When the coil passes the voltage test, it is stamped with the code number and Danfoss logo. A threaded insert for the plug is inserted into the coil. The coil plastic is melted to secure it in place. A groove for the clip-on cover is machined on the top surface of the coil. Finally, the clip-on cover is attached to the top of the coil using ultrasonic welding. The terminal box is mounted on the coil cover. the coils are packed into Danfoss boxes. At the Danfoss valve factory, we use many of our own valves in the production process. The EV220B solenoid valve is here used to maintain constant temperature in a soldering machine. <laughs>